So the string theory series, very much like modern camouflage, is largely about, again, this intriguing contrast between illusionistic and flat elements. On the one hand, we have these uh, very simplified, almost uh, color field grounds, and then birds positioned in them in various places. I was really inspired by some of my favorite minimalist artists. Um, Barnett Newman's zip paintings come to mind, um, as do uh, P.A. Mondrian's later work, um, which are these wonderful sort of networks of intersecting lines. A great example of how you can create something of great beauty with very minimal elements. By carefully placing the birds, touching or roosting on what are essentially flat areas of color, stripes in a painting, those areas of color become alive and animate within three-dimensional space. They stop being a flat surface and start being an environment in which the birds are existing. One of the things that I love about travel is that as a bird lover, I get to go to all these wonderful places and see what, from the standpoint of the people who live there, are fairly common garden birds, but to me, they're wonderfully unusual and exotic. And uh, nothing is uh, a better example of that than the blue tits. I was really excited to work with this very beautiful color palette of um, very strident yellows, uh, deep blues, and these wonderful um, soft powder blues and greens as well. We have kingfishers in the U.S., but the color palette is not nearly as beautiful as those of the British kingfishers, so I was really excited to see them in the wild. And if you watch them, they tend to pick a branch over water and sit there, this little ball of coiled energy, just waiting for a fish to swim by under them, at which point they dive. So for me, it was really important that the composition be dominated by these intense vertical lines, uh, suggestive of that impending motion. So cursive is a piece that doesn't quite fit into um, either the string theory or modern camouflage series. It's, uh, it's too curvilinear to be part of the string theory series, um, and it's too minimal to be part of the modern camouflage series. Certainly the bird isn't intended to be disguised in the composition. But really, again, it's another attempt to bridge the gap between what's effectively an area of flat pattern um, and a bird that we can believe exists in three-dimensional space. Uh, but to do that in a very minimal, pared-down way. 